tonight, our next guest singer is a, a Moth Grand Slam winner and a New York native, and uh, man, has the slickest fucking pompadour I've ever seen. <laughs> she is a bad motherfucker. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tara Clancy. <laughs> person I had a coming out story uh, and so I said no not really and she got all cute and she said oh not really what does not really mean and I said not really means I was nine years old and my mother looked at me and said you're gay <laughs> It was a big haired, long nailed, you know, Italian Catholic from Brooklyn. You know, in other words, not somebody you would look at and think, now there's a person who'd out their nine year old. You know? <laughs> so, how it came to be that she was so open, she had a very sheltered upbringing, so aware of my gayness actually, you know, became an obsession of mine. Uh, and so, when I got a little bit older, I found out a couple of things. Okay? So, one, uh, in her childhood, in her teenage years, she, she had a secret rebellion. She decided she was a flower child uh, in her head. You know, she wasn't allowed to act on it or anything, you know? Like maybe she hummed the age of Aquarius to herself. You know, but that was about it. Uh, but then by the time she was in college, she really wanted to do it. She really wanted to have a big rebellion. And so she made best friends with an alcoholic, heroin shooting, bull dyke named Rosemary. <laughs> but that's exactly what she was. Uh, and I know because by the time I was 14, my mom decided that we should meet. Uh, and so uh, by this time, Rosemary uh, had sobered up and moved to L.A., although I doubt in that order.
Sophie takes out luggage into the store. She puts it under a shelf, stocked with foot long black dildos, and then asks me if I'm hungry. <laughs> I can no longer speak, but I manage to shake my head no. My mother's like, I'm free, you know? So the two of them decide they're gonna go get sprout sandwiches or whatever the fuck you call lunch in LA. But they also decide that they're going to leave me in the store while they go to get them, you know, and they come back. Alright, so here I am. Why don't 
don't you listen to your mother. <laughs>